designed for galvanizing. It is vitally important that all steelwork sent in for hot dip galvanizing is properly vented. This ensures safe dipping, a quality finish and zero delays in the processing of your steelwork. All our plants operate to the quality management system EN ISO 9001. Galvanizing is a dipping process. The fabricated steel is hung from a jig on an overhead crane at an angle of approximately 30 degrees. It then goes through a series of degreasing and pickling baths to clean the steel and remove oil, grease, rust and mill scale. Once this is complete, it is dipped in a bath of molten zinc at 450 degrees centigrade. In order to be submerged, all tubular and hollow sections must have holes at each end of the tube diagonally opposite each other to allow the air and process fluids to flow through the steelwork. In this way, all steel is cleaned and galvanized both internally and externally. Before being hung, all steelwork goes through a thorough pre-process inspection to confirm it is properly vented and safe to go into the process. All holes are checked to ensure they are correctly placed and of adequate size. The minimum hole is normally 8mm but for larger sections it may need to be 10 mm or even larger. Any steel rejected will be put to one side for remedial action to be carried out. The customer will be contacted for their approval to allow us modify the steelwork and to accept the appropriate charges involved. In the case of CE marked steel, it may be necessary for the steel fabricator to come into the factory to drill the holes themselves. Having been approved, the steelwork moves to the jigging section and is hung from a jig. This demonstrates the 30 degree dipping angle which is the critical determinant of where the vent holes should be placed when designing any steel fabrication. Holes should be in the highest and lowest corners and will be offset rather than centred in base plates. If in doubt, a steel fabricator should send a sketch or drawing to us and we will happily advise on where the holes need to be placed. As the steelwork passes through the cleaning process, the operators remain vigilant in case any hole has been missed in the previous checks. This could cause jigs to float and delay the process during cleaning. However, in the galvanizing bath, it would become a serious health and safety risk. If any liquid or moisture is trapped within a hollow section, it will turn to steam at 450 degrees and expand. The pressure that builds up can be enough to cause the steel to explode. It can rip a tube apart, destroying the steelwork on the jig, damaging the bath, and more importantly sending molten zinc flying towards the galvanizing operators. In the galvanizing bath, when the steel heats up to the ambient temperature, zinc iron alloys form on the surface of the steel. The process of coating formation takes approximately 10 minutes and once it is complete, the steel moves on for passivation and is ready to be inspected and placed out in the yard for collection. As part of the inspection process, all sharp edges and spikes will be smoothed out and a coating thickness inspection will determine the coating achieved. The required thicknesses are contained in ISEN ISO 1461 and the normal requirement is between 70 to 85 microns depending on the thickness of the steel involved. The entire process should take approximately half a day from start to finish and normal lead times in the industry would be within 3 to 5 days.